Doesn't it look amazing? So, Pei, you've brought some of the hottest flavors for this year. This mm -hmm. is the stuff you're going to be watching out for all throughout 2014, and it smells amazing. Doesn't it smell good? Right now, you're smelling some spice, spicy. right? Some paprika, some garlic, some curry. Yeah, yeah. these are some of the uh, flavors that you'll see more of into this year. And the overall trend is uh, more international flavors. Yeah. So, more ethnic foods are being made, you know, brought into the mainstream, which is great news for everyone. For sure. It means really more seen a, a, yeah. a change in that respect because you can go to any grocery store now and get mm -hmm. West Indian food, Chinese food, food from South America, yeah. food from everywhere. And it used to be that you would have to find these little specialty shops, but that's yeah. not the case. So I was able to pick up most of this actually at Loblaws, which is fantastic. Good. So I'll start with this one, which is um, the Indian flavors that you'll see more of coming into the mainstream. And what I love is that there are now these, these spice blends that make it easier for you to make the foods at home. If you wanted to, for yeah. example, do some tandoori chicken at home. So mm -hmm. what I like, for example, is this uh, President's Choice Black Label Tandoori Spice Blend, which I have in there. And the great thing is that it's pre-blended, it saves you time. You can then do things like add some yogurt and uh garlic, lemon juice, marinate some meat in it overnight, cook it the next day. It's oh, very that easy, good. right? Serve it with some non bread. Even when you're entertaining, think about picking up some, you know, little frozen samosas in right. the freezer section. Serve it with this nice uh, Bengal curry mango dip. Very easy mm, to do, right? That's and, great. and they're very versatile. So another flavor trend that you'll see more of as well are influences from South America. Right. So Peru, Argentina, chimichurri sauce, for example, is one of the most common condiments used in Argentina, and that's just herbs with um, garlic and vinegar. Yeah. You can use it as a dip, for example. Um, marinate your favorite fish and meat with it. Brush it on, a, you know, some grilled vegetables. Yeah. All of these as well. These are some nice uh, sweet kind of spicy peppers from yeah. Peru and these make great um appetizers as well. Stuff them with some goat cheese, oh, some prosciutto. Isn't that cute? That's a very good really idea. Really nice. So a lot of these fresh flavors you'll see yeah. more of. All of the stuff also really good for your digestion and mm -hmm. your metabolism. Yes. So if you are stuck on a veggie and fruit diet, yeah. you know, incorporate some of this stuff in to give it some flavor. Yeah, definitely. And I love all the fresh herbs as well. These are, yeah. what did you call these? Uh, I call camera? them a spice, all right. I know, it's a herb. But you're I close. mean, obviously, it's a herb. <laughs> Just so playing around. So cilantro and parsley. Um, you know, two herbs that are used a lot. Another thing you're going to see more of are uh, influences from the Middle East. So, mm -hmm. za'atar. Are you familiar with that? No. Ah, uh, yes. I think that we've talked about za'atar before on the show. So it's a spice blend that everyone's going to hear more of in 2014, and it's yeah. really simple. I think another thing too with a lot of these international flavors is people often get a bit intimidated. They're like, I'm not familiar with that. I don't that. know what to do. But the thing is, it's actually a combination of spices that you probably have in your pantry. So it's oregano, thyme, right. uh, sesame seeds, and sumac. Sumac might be the one that people uh, aren't as familiar with, yeah. but it's a berry that's been dried and ground up and it's kind of tart. You can use this as a dip with some olive oil. Brush it onto some pita bread and serve that at your next dinner party. That sounds amazing. You know? It was Claire Tansy that introduced me to Zatar, so we have talked about it on City All Line right, before. so it's Good going to, you'll see more of that this year. And what I like too is all the fresh stuff that we were talking about. So Mexican flavors yeah. will continue to be popular. Can you imagine that now you can go into almost any restaurant and order yourself a pretty good fish taco? That's true. Fish right? tacos are hot. And Mexican food, I mean, it never, I don't think it ever goes on the not hot list. No, and I love Everyone that we're seeing Mexican. more of it and more different things. So, for mm -hmm. example, instead of serving your typical red salsa, maybe try like a salsa verde, which is uh, right here, like a tomatillo salsa. Yeah. So, again, I was able to pick this up from, from uh, the President Cho President's Choice Black Label blend. And um, tomatillos, these are like, these. this is what it is. They're little green tomatoes yeah. wrapped up in a paper hat. You can actually buy these at your grocery store. Um, or You, you can get it a this paper hat. I like <laughs> that. Uh, each little <laughs> tomato has a little hat on. It's just gift wrapped for it's you. It's very cute. It comes gift wrapped. Now, is that <laughs> That's spicier. Is it spicy? Than a, re than a, no. than a regular um, salsa? You, if you were to make it at home, you could control that spice for sure. But mm -hmm. I would. Do you want to try it? Yeah, sure. There's no crickets in here, are there? No, there's no cricket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But it's just a nice oh, fresh flavor. That's right. Lots yeah. of citrus, not spicy garlic, at all. a little bit of onion. Mm -hmm. And then just very quickly, pickles and uh, fermented food are going to be very popular as well. So you'll see more kimchi, miso, pickled fruit even. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. And that lasts forever. That's the great right? thing about it. When you pickle it. stuff, yeah. it's great. Thank very you for economical. That, okay? Let's go to break. We've got more coming up.